Recording is on. Last class is on. Last class we discussed about how to install code blocks and we write our first program, right? We just print some sentence or word in last class. Today we have uh, two topics. First is uh, data types, and second is conversion of data types. Right? So let's first start code blocks. And let's open new file. C, C, go. C. Okay, let's give the name. Today is a lecture three, right? Yeah. Okay, lecture three. Okay. So let's. This is library. We call it Studio Library. And this is main main method. In last class, we discussed right. In last class, we have something like this. This is the practice. Right? Then yeah, we debug it, then we run it. So this was the last class um, work. Uh -huh. Okay? Yes. Roma, you're here? Cool. Right? So that's a review. This was a statement, and this is a name method, and this is a library. So today we have to discuss about. Uh, data types. First data type is, let's say, it's an integer, right? You see, you can define integer as int, this one. Mm -hmm. Let's make this one bigger. Is that, is that clear now? Can you yes. See? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's move it now, move it, okay? Okay. This int means it's an integer. Okay. Mm -hmm. We talk about comments, right? Last time. Yes. Int is integer. Okay. So then we give, for example, um, variable name. We call it identifier last class, right? Semicolon. Mm. Semicolon means end of the line. Mm. Okay, the next thing you can do is assign value to this variable. For example, my age is 29. Okay. So that's a, a definition and declaration and uh, initialization of value. This is declaration part. This is initialization. Initialize means give some value to the variable. Okay? It shouldn't be now. Yes. It shouldn't be zero. Okay? Okay. You can do this initialization in the same line if you want. This is fine. You can just remove this. Okay? Then let's print out this. Print F. You can put like my age is, and this is this a percentage, and B is a integer. If you want to print out, you have to put this to sign. Okay? That means your program knows you want to print out integer. All right? Mm -hmm. Let's print out. You see that? My age is 29. So our program working fine. Okay. The next data type we want to learn today is 
Uh, let's put first char. You know what is char? Yeah. Char stands for stands for character. You know what is character, right? Yeah. Character is like single character, like A, B, C, D, E, right? It cannot be more than single. Character means eight bits, single, single byte, right? In one byte, you have a eight bits, right? Let's say uh, character A, for example. Declaration will be like this, single quote. And inside the single quote, there's a character, okay? Yeah. This is declaration, this is initialization, right? And we can print out this character also, if you want. Let's put this as character grade. Let's say the grade is A. My C program grade is, let's put, now we have to change this from B to C because it's a character. So if you want to print out character and you put this percentage in C. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's put wait. Let's check it. You see that? But it's all in same line, right? It's all mixed up. So if you want to make this uh, my grade in the new line, we have to put this here, this symbol. Okay? It's not slash, it's a uh, opposite of slash. Okay? And N, N means new line. If you run now, now you see that your grade is in a new line. It's not in the same line anymore. Can you see? No, not clear. You cannot see. My, my edges are my single. If you are on the phone, you can zoom your screen. Okay. Try it. Ah, okay. You can see it now? Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. It's okay now. All right. Okay. So now you understand what is data type and what is initialization data type is integer for the character these are data types depending on what type of input you want to enter right if it's a number you can enter, you can use data type like float or integer if you want to use a string you can use uh, data type uh, character, char, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's put like this, data type. Number, int, o, mm. string, if you want to use a string, you can use char, okay? Those are data types. Then you're gonna read what is written in the book. Okay. Now we're doing practice. So the theory part you have to read on your own. Right? Is that clear? Yeah. Any questions? Oh well, no, percentage that's hard. This is your only Grade is this? Uh -huh. It's uh, on my keyboard. It's a uh, number five. All right. Click shift and number five. Hi guys. Let me go in here. Percentage. Come from shift. 
plus five. Can you see it now? Yes. All right. Let's say you want to print your name. How are you going to do it? Okay. Try to print your name. Let's see what will happen. May I try? Yes. And tell me the result, then we discuss. Okay, uh, include and uh, can you print out your name? Yes, yes. wait a minute, please. All right, Cobble John up. Where is Cobble John? Is he sleeping? He left, I think. <laughs> you can hope you understand? Yeah, yeah. But I haven't got program next time I will try. All right. So you have to watch the last time class. If you want to okay, install okay. it, okay. okay. On your group, Telegram group. Yeah, I have find it. Yeah. Okay, John. <laughs> All right. How long we should wait? Uh, one minute, please. <laughs> okay. 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. We're counting back. Okay. Okay, let's do it together. I have done. I have done. How do you do it? Just share with us. Oh, okay. Print screen, then share with us. You can share. Okay. Now, can you share here? Okay, thanks. Show windows, yes. Is it clear? Okay. Is it, is it visible? Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, Zoka said okay. Yes. yes. Uh, let's see your yeah. source code. Source code. Open your source code. Okay. <laughs> Is it visible? Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. How about you define it first? It's a variable. Then you print it. 
What? You have to define it as a variable like this. Uh -huh. Like character grade. Then you print it. We see together now. Okay. Okay. Let's remove this too. There's two ways, right? You can put as a character and you write your name like five or six times. For example, name one A and two. The character tool, okay? And mm. B. Okay. L. Mm. Ah. There's a one way, but this is a difficult way. Uh -huh. right? And another way is to find it is. Array. We're going to study array in different class. Today you just know the name of the array, okay? 20 means this name can hold 20 characters, okay? You yes. can write this A 20 times and can hold it. You can receive 20 characters, okay? Mm -hmm. Here you can write a legend. Then let's print out. It's supposed to be yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. Those this this just now I made error because I put single character. Okay. Yes. If it's single, it's a character, and if it's a double, that means it's a uh, string. All right. Mm -hmm. that. Let's put it this way. Okay. Now it's printing my name. Dr. John, is that clear? Yes. Okay. You can try by yourself. This is S, right? Yes. It's not B, e, it's not C, because we're printing out string. This is a string. Right? Yeah. This is single quote, this is double quote. If it's mm -hmm. a char, you define is a single quote. If it's a string, you define is double quote. Clear? Yeah. Okay. One of the important things today we have to learn is how to read user input. Like your program should ask your name and you enter it, then your program should print out. All right. Mm -hmm. We have a keyword for that called scan app. We're going to use that now. Just now we define our variable, then we print out, right? We define our name and we print our name. Now our program should ask you, everyone who is standing in front of the program, your name, and it should print out your name. All right. Mm -hmm. So for that, we need char, we need a name. We want to print out our name. We will ask people our name, right? Mm -hmm. Then let's ask first. Enter your name. Okay. And use scan. To read our name, 
we reading a string. So we have to put this sign. And we're going to keep our name. It means this scan will scan your input and it will assign that input into this name. Okay? You see, this name has no value so far. After this line, it will have a value. Whatever you enter, it will assign that value into this name variable. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to print out your name. You will enter first, and it will print out to you. Okay. This is very important thing in programming. In any language, your program should ask user to enter some value, right? This is basics, but this is very important part of programming. Okay, let's put this sign also. Then <coughs> the name. We want to print our name, right? So let's put comment here. Read users input. Assign input to variable variable name. Right? Mm -hmm. name. Let's check. There's no error. Can you see it? Yeah. It's asking, enter your name. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Okay, I will enter my name. And I will uh, press enter. And you see that? In the second line, it's printing your name is Alshe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so our program now asking user to enter their name, some value, then it's taking that value and assigning, assigning that value to this in chart. Right? <laughs> then it will printing us that our whatever we enter. You can enter anything. Can enter key program. You see that? It's saying your my name is C. Yes. Just here. Program. Can I see a break in? This is for the last one. I was not to the present. Good. Damn, I said, well, and I was not to the toilet. This is a question. Okay. Any questions so far? No. No. After the lesson, okay. we will practice. Okay. I will give you homework today. Okay. Okay. Now let's put uh, one more thing here. Your program should ask your name and your age. It will print out your name and age together, right? Mm -hmm. Age is what? Number, right? Mm -hmm. So it should be integer. Then let's one more time. It will ask your name, your age now. Enter your age. Right? Then what we do is we scan whatever is entered. Okay? Age is what? Number, right? So we have to use B. Age here. Then let's put in my
Let me mute everybody. So you guys unmute yourself, okay? I'll mute everybody okay. now. Okay, you should unmute yourself. So whoever in the class understands. Okay. Now here we have to print our age. Print F. So age is, it's a, Integers, integer sign. So let's debug it first. So there is no error. See that there is no error. So let's print. Let's run it. So it's asking my name. My name. Asking my age. My age. Oh. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Let's see what is our mistake. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's check integer, integer, okay. Let me find the mistake first, then we discuss again, right? You can unmute yourself. You don't have to. Okay, okay. okay, okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Because there was some noise. All right. I found the mistake. Okay. All right. I forgot one more thing. Can you see? Yes. The code? All right. You see here the age? Because it's integer and because we are reading from user, we have to put this uh, sign, end sign, right? It's on the number seven, shift number seven. Uh huh. Let's check. Now it's working. All right. Yeah. Okay, now it's printing my name and my age. So let's review because it's getting very messy. So this is a string, right? We use a char as an array. You can hold 20 characters. And this is integer, it's our age. And this line is asking uh, to enter your name. And this is assigning whatever you enter, assigning it to variable name. This 20, uh, 20 character name, right? And mm -hmm. this line is asking to enter your, let's put comment here, you know, your age, read user's age, and this is a sign input to 
variable age. You can only enter number, right? You cannot enter anything else. And this is print age. Let's try to put something else to number. Let's put A. You see that your age is zero because I enter character A, not mm -hmm. number. So if you enter anything else other than the number, so output will be zero. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. All right. Okay. Any questions? No. 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 Yeah. Okay. If there's no question, means either you understand very clearly or you don't understand at all. Right? <laughs> no question is good question. <laughs> okay. If you understand this. Now we have to move on to next lecture. Conversion. Okay. Can we move on? It's not. Yeah. I hope it's not heavy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put this as. Let's comment. What are we going to use? Okay. All right. Let's try. You know what is conversion? Yeah. It's conversion. changing the type name. Yeah, it means change. Mm -hmm. In programming, change of data type, all right? Mm -hmm. In yeah. programming, change of data type. You know what is data type? No, what is it? <laughs> we just discussed ah. data type. What is data type? It's like a, uh, show our name and age. No, that your name, your age, what is it? Data type. No, it's a variable. Integer. Uh, before the variable? Before the variable, you put what? Um, our name? <laughs> no. Character. Character, yeah. yeah. What is this too? I'm talking about this. Integer and character. Integer and character. So what is it? Is it data type? Yes. So what is data type in your own words? Why don't we just use single data type? Why we have a multiple data types like character, integer, flow? Why just can't be used char all the time? Sure. Look at your program first. What's the difference? <laughs> what is the difference now? This variable that the type is char, it's a string, mm -hmm. uh. and this is a integer. What is the difference? Why we use integer instead of string? Why just can't we use char age? Uh, we use char for the how many letters we write there for name. We show that in integer age we char uh, is we write only numbers. Okay. In char name we use only uh, letters. So what is the difference? And uh, different that uh, in the first number one, of we the use, elements. Yeah. Nah. 
If you want to use number, you use, use number data, data type. Integer is the simplest number data type. If you want to use string char, you use data type char. Or just simply string. We're using char as a string here, right? Combination of characters. So main difference here is you have a number. Number is a different type of data type, right? Number means you have you can calculate, you can add, you can subtract, you can multiply. Can you use that in char? Can you add, subtract, or multiply using char? No. no. What happened here? For example, here, you see, we enter name, age, right? We put char here, for example, age. What is out Zero. 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 Why? Because we have to write there uh, only numbers. Because its data type is integer. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't know what is age. Yeah. yeah. Age is a character, so that's why it's printing out zero. If it's number, there will be another. Yeah, let me see. instead of instead of age. Yes. What number do you want to enter? Eight, maybe. Eight. What is output now? Eight. Eight. Why? Because it's a number. <laughs> we show uh, <laughs> we show in integer age uh, only numbers. All right. So you have to read more. All right. I yes. I will give you the books and you have to read to understand more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, do you know what is data type? <laughs> You don't know. Yeah. Can you write the rule of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With clear words. Give me the example of data type. What kind of data type you know? Char and integer. Char and integer. Right? Mm -hmm. No, this too. Conversion means convert this char variable to integer. Uh. Right? Then reverse from integer to char. What will happen? If char character mm -hmm. input is number, for example, 23, right? Mm -hmm. It's still a char. It's not just a number, it's a char. You cannot add, you cannot subtract this because it's a character. It's a data type of character, right? Mm -hmm. So if you convert this to integer, value will be still 23, but data type will be integer. So that means you can calculate this second 23. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, but you cannot do those uh, arithmetics with this char input, okay? Mm -hmm. Then if you, want to, if you want to convert from integer to char, that means this number, for example, it's a phone number. You can convert it to char because you don't have to calculate phone number, right? It's just a phone yeah. number. It will never change. But it's still a number, right? In that kind of situations, you can use char. For example, here. Let me change this. Let me change from name to... Um. 
Mm. You see that? Yes. It's still a character, but we enter value number 9890. It's a, it's a character. You cannot add, you cannot subtract that. Okay? Well, let's try that. Uh -huh. yeah. Let me, let's... Let's subtract. Integer, let's say sum is equal to age subtract form. Logically, it should be mistake. Our program should find it as a mistake, right? Yeah. Let's check our program. If it will find a mistake, so you see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you cannot do calculation. Let's find what is a mistake here. Error invalid operands to binary, have integer and char. You see that? Mm -hmm. okay. So, if you want to use this form as a number, you have to first convert. Let's convert. And we will see. Right? Convert, convert char to integer. Okay. All right. Let's put first integer form. Let's put form integer. Okay. Then we have a keyword called A T O I. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have a bracket. Then we put form here. What happened now? So this ato is a keyword. So it's taking phone's value, right? And taking it to integer, if there's any number, right? If there's no number, it will be zero, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we can calculate this phone integer here. You see? Yes. Let's try now. Now it's working. Let's change our. It's asking my name still. Remember. Okay. All right. Let's enter some number. You see? Yes. Can you see the result? Now it's calculating. It's working now. Because we yeah. convert the phone's value to integer. Okay, let's try. Let's write something. Not number. You see? Sum is 23. Because the, your, phone, uh, your phone number, you didn't enter any number. So there is no number. So it means it's a zero. Yeah. And three minus zero means 23. Right? So this is a conversion part. This is a keyword to convert. Right? Mm -hmm. And another thing you can take away from here. For example, you write, uh, let's say, 99 Ali. Right? Let's yeah. say it has a number and character. And let's go, we have a 23. You see that? It takes this 99 
Mm-hmm. Two integer is deleting this another Ali part. It's taking only the number part and assigning it to phone integer. Okay? Yeah. yeah. If you have a, a character string, combination of characters, for example, including number, it will take number, right? Other parts is equal to zero. If you convert from char to string, clear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's delete this. Okay. Any questions so far? No. What is conversion? Uh, changing. Yes. Changing from char to integer or integer f- to char. Right, yeah. Changing of data type. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. only from integer to char or char to integer. There's different type of data types. Later uh, class. Okay. Right? Yes. It's a changing okay. of data Type. Why we need it? Is there any another type of the uh, data type or only yes. integer and? No, there is like for example float. Yeah. Float is a decimal number. Like for example float you can put pi, right? You know pi yeah. number, right? Zero point three point fourteen. So it has a point to it. So you use the data type flow. Okay? Yeah. All right. So now we see from char to integer conversion, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Now we have to see from integer to char, where you cannot calculate. All right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's define integer, for example, number. Right? Let's say we have a three, two, one number. Then we want to define this three, two, one as character. Character. Let's say string number. S is a string, okay? Let's let's say it can hold five characters, okay? Uh All right. Next thing is you can use this keyword integer two character. Right. Mm-hmm. First, we put number here, integer here, first value. Second value is a character where if you put this number's value, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. The third value, just leave it for you now, it's not important. Now we can, now it became a string, right? S number. This S number has a value of this integer number. All right? Yes. You see that? Three, two, one. Yes. Let's try this here. Integer sum. You cannot calculate this S number. For example, number plus S number. It should give us error. No. Let's try. It didn't give us error. Let's try to do something. Okay. It's not working properly. Uh-huh. If you want to see the difference, 
you can print char here. It's a string, no? This number. Let's put it in Let's try. You see, there's an empty line. Uh -huh. This S number has no value at all until line 10. In line 10, it take, it's taking this integer number's value, which is 231, right? But it's still a string. So if you calculate here, it's a zero, right? You cannot add, you cannot divide, you cannot subtract. All right? All right. Okay, let me ask you, what was the keyword for converting from string to char? I, at T, O, A. Sorry, sorry. String to integer. What is it? I, T, O, A. I. A, T, O, I. Itoi, 